Hey there folks, uh, this is Joshua from the future. I've got a tutorial here about how to update the firmware on your Walksnail goggles. I originally recorded this as part of my testing of a new Walksnail firmware, and then realized it made more sense just going into its own video so the people who needed it would find it and the people who already knew how to do it wouldn't have to waste time watching it. So if this video feels like it's been cut out of a much longer video, it doesn't have the sort of normal structure of my videos, that's why. Enjoy. And the first thing we gotta do is update the firmware on the goggles and the VTX. And I'm just gonna walk you through that process real quick in case it's your first time. And I'm gonna be getting this firmware from somewhere you might not expect. Not from Caddx's official webpage, but from this website. I'll link it down in the video description, of course. This is D3VL, also known as Devil, who is a developer who works with DJI and Walksnail. And I just find this website easier to get the firmware from than Caddx's official website. It's got even got older firmwares that you can't can't download from Caddx anymore if for some reason you wanted to roll back. So we'll insert our SD card and the first thing we're going to update is the goggles and uh, depending on which goggle you're updating you're going to download a different file. These are the avatar goggles. There's a different file for the standalone VRX and there's a different file for the Recon or Recon HD. So this is, I'm going to download the avatar goggles and here is that file in my downloads folder and here is my SD card and I'm just going to drag that onto the SD card. Then I'm going to insert that SD card into the goggles and I'm going to power up the goggles. Make sure that the battery you use to power up the goggles is fully charged because if the goggles power down during flashing, well, the goggles won't be bricked at least they won't be bricked if you're on a reasonably recent firmware. On the very, very oldest firmwares, uh, the goggles could be bricked if you interrupted a flash, but that was fixed some time ago. It's still not a good idea to, to tempt fate by uh, having your goggles power off during a firmware update. Once the goggles have booted up, take a look in the upper right-hand corner of the screen and make sure that you see the SD card size. It should read, you know, 29 gig or something. If for some reason the goggles don't show that the SD card is inserted, then they're not going to be able to flash. You may need to format the SD card or use a different SD card. I don't know why that would happen. And we're going to hold down the bind button for about 10 seconds until the goggles start beeping. There we go. This slow beeping that you should start hearing any minute now, that indicates that the goggles are doing their firmware update. There we go. If the goggles do a fast beep, like beep, 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 that means that they know that you want to do a firmware update, but they don't like what they're seeing on the SD card. For example, the goggles actually will refuse to flash to an older firmware. You can only upgrade, not downgrade. So then didn't I just say earlier that you could downgrade? Yeah, you can downgrade by renaming the firmware file. That's right, they figure out what version the firmware is by the name of the file and you just rename it th from 32.37.10 to 33.40.10 and then it just will, f it's kind of dumb. Like, that's a really dumb way of hand. Why can't I roll back the firmware? Anyway, firmware update is proceeding. Oh, the beeping has changed. The beeping, oh, the beeping was continuous for a little while and then the beeping stopped and the goggles rebooted. At this point, I think we can assume that the firmware update was done, but we could check in the goggle status to be sure. Next, we're gonna do the video transmitter. For the video transmitter, we're gonna need this little plug that goes into the side and uh, plugs into the USB port on your computer. I won't be able to get this on camera because this USB port plug is so short. Uh, you're also gonna need to power the video transmitter up. It does not work simply by plugging it in. It's super finicky. Um, not thrilled about that. It's like, doesn't want to stay plugged in. Jesus. Come on. Oh, come on, you There we go. Now we're happy. Just get all this other nonsense off of here. I don't know why we'd need that. And we're going to download the Sky firmware. And the Sky firmware is the same for all video transmitters, the Mini, the V2, whatever. It doesn't matter. And we're gonna take that Sky firmware and drag it onto this USB drive that appeared when we plugged in USB to the computer. If that USB drive doesn't appear, the number one cause is that the cable itself is kind of messed up. They're kind of fragile and the pins inside the VTX are also kind of fragile. So good luck. Once that is placed, we can unplug the USB drive and power down the video transmitter. Then we're gonna power the video transmitter back up again 
We're going to wait until we have a blinking green status LED and then hold down the bind button for about 10 seconds until the LED turns red. Well, the LED turned off. It didn't turn red. Maybe I misremembered. Uh, it is doing the firmware update now. And, oh, there we go. Fast blinking red LED indicates firmware update is happening. It goes much faster than the goggles and it should be done very shortly. And once again, we can go into the menu. We can go to settings, device, and we can go to device info and check the firmware version is the same for both the goggles and the transmitter. We are now ready to go. If that video was helpful, I would like to invite you to consider joining my Patreon. For as little as $2 a month or more if you feel like I've earned it, Patreon is the best way for you to support the work that I do here. I'm going to guess that this maybe is one of the first of my videos that you've watched because this is a relatively beginner video. So maybe you're not quite ready to commit yet. That's fine. Keep watching the videos. I made a ton of them. You're going to enjoy them. I'm going to keep making them. You're going to keep watching them. Maybe that day will come. But if today is that day for you, then there's a link in the video description to my Patreon. I'd love to have you as a supporter. Thank you very much.